If you haven't watched my unboxing of the ZTE Blade S6, then you definitely should because in that video, I gave you a little teaser of just how similar the Blade S6 looks to the iPhone 6, or in this case, the iPhone 6 Plus. In this video, I'm going to go into depth with just how similar these two devices are in terms of their design. Hey, what is up, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and there's no question ZTE got some inspiration from Apple when they designed the Blade S6. In the words of Charles Colton, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, which I think is very true, but probably does not apply to Apple. I mean, after all, back when Steve Jobs was in charge, he was willing to go thermonuclear war over some copyright issues with Google. But regardless, we have the ZTE Blade S6. Now, first of all, this device doesn't even try to hide the fact that it looks like an iPhone. I mean, it has a designed by ZTE in California text at the bottom of the phone, similar to the iPhone 6. I mean, what other manufacturer does that? Apparently not just Apple anymore. <laughs> we also have the ZTE logo plastered in the same location as the Apple logo. The 13 megapixel camera sensor and flash are also located in about the same corner as the camera and flash on the iPhone although the order is rearranged on the Blade S6, so that is a little bit different. Now the ZTE Blade S6 also has a very similar appearing build construction as it resembles a unibody aluminum design similar to that of the iPhone 6 Plus. However, it doesn't have those antenna lines, and that's because the body of the Blade S6 is made entirely of plastic, so it doesn't really have to. But from first glance, you'll probably assume that it is made of metal, and even when you pick it up, it feels pretty similar to an iPhone with the round edges, but it definitely feels more cheap in the hands, as it doesn't have as much weight to it, and it's not as cool to the touch, because once again, it's made of plastic. If we take a look at the front of each device, the major similarity is actually the home button, as we have a capacitive touch button with a circle on it that actually makes it look very similar to the home button found on an iPhone 5. Also, the display size would best resemble an iPhone 6, but I only have an iPhone 6 Plus currently. Now, the other similarities I found between the two devices in terms of design take place in the software. Now, as you know, the iPhone 6 Plus runs iOS 8. The Blade S6 runs Android 5.0 Lollipop, which, once again, as you know, is very different than iOS at its roots. It's really the custom skin ZTE threw on top of Android 5.0 Lollipop that takes some inspiration from Apple. For example, we have square icons. Pretty much every icon on the ZTE Blade S6 is square, with the exception of a few Google apps. Now, it's easy for me to say that they are copying Apple by making square icons, but to be fair, I have noticed most Chinese devices do have square icons. Whether it's because of Apple or not, I don't really know, but uh, that's just something I noticed across the board with Chinese devices. There's also no app drawer in the Blade S6. All of your apps will be thrown onto the home screens, similar to iOS. And once again, this is just another trend I've noticed across most Chinese devices. But the last similarity I want to mention in this video is that the Blade S6 is equipped with a 64-bit Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor. The iPhone 6 Plus, as you know, also does have a 64-bit processor and was one of the first smartphones to have a 64-bit processor. If the iPhone 6 didn't come equipped with a 64-bit processor when it was announced last year, it makes me wonder if the Blade S6 would either because it does definitely try its best to resemble an iPhone. But it does actually offer a lot at a very competitive price for around $250 off contract, so you can't get this device for a good price, that is for sure. But I want to know if it bothers you that the Blade S6 looks very similar to an iPhone 6, would you buy this device? Would you buy this device if it had a more unique design? Let me know what your thoughts are, but leave me a comment down below. With that said, that is my comparison between the iPhone 6 Plus and the ZTE Blade S6 in terms of design. I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!